Well, hi everyone, this is Bob the Science Guy again, out in sunny Las Vegas, finishing up our little job out here, and we'll be heading back home shortly. Today I wanted to talk about Uncle Fester again, and his claim of no claims. This is the classic flat earth strategy of not making any claims, not having a model, just sitting down and trying to claim that they somehow debunk the globe Earth. Therefore, the Earth must be flat. Let's go see what we're talking about here. Yeah, I just have questions, but I don't know if that's allowed. AJ, is that allowed? Yeah, you can ask a question, yeah. Oh yeah, uh, Nathan, when you look up to the sky, like, what do you see? Like, what are those bright objects to you? Stars. And where are those stars? In the sky, you've already told us where they are. Okay, but where in the sky are they? Like, how high up? Let's say, distance-wise. You tell me. I'm asking you. You tell. I don't make a claim about how how star. Uh, oh, I could stop stuttering. How high stars are? Do you know? Are. Okay. Do you know the answer to it? I just told you that I don't make a claim about how high they are. However, correct me if I'm wrong. Say so you believe Earth is a sphere. I don't know what it is. Why are you asking this question? Because I want to see, like, what you think. Like, where do you think those stars are? Third time. Like, are you deaf? Repeat after me. I don't make a claim about it. I don't care if you don't make a claim. I'm asking you a question, and I'm asking you if you know the answer to that question. Right. You're well, in Sorry, can you, can you, can you square? So Sorry, know. just, just a Guys, second. I can deal with this by myself. Guys, it's okay. I can cope. You're, can you square the GD? Nathan, you're answering, can you square? You're, you're answering a different Excuse question. me, I'm answering you. It seems like you're talking while I'm talking because you haven't got what you want. Can you square the GDP deficit of Denmark, please? Go. Wait, I asked him? Can you square the GDP deficit in Denmark? Can you do that or not? No. Well, then you're a retard. Why are you even talking to us? Retard, why can't okay, you do that? Okay, answer my question. Why can't you do that, retard? Is it like you're not even making claims about the GDP of Gen Denmark to be squaring circles in that regard? It's like something that you've never even talked about, right? Why would I be asking you, given that you don't talk about that? Would it you seem like a strange question to put to you, so given that you've made no claims about it? Would it would it be that I'm you're still in the time. middle of the same sentence and it's just him talking through the top so people can't clearly hear what I'm asking him? What I've put to you, sir, is an unreasonable question that you haven't made a claim about. In this case, the GDP of Denmark. Something that you're not making any claims about, therefore it'd be unreasonable to you be questioned about it? I don't make any claims about their friggin' height, fourth time. Yeah, I'm just going to put it another way, Enzo, so you may understand it. One, Nathan hasn't made any claims about the height, so there's nothing to question here, Nathan, in regards to that. But secondly, that would be based on speculation, not something that we can verify in reality. So it's not about what we think or what we speculate. It's about what we can know, what we can measure, yeah? And this is not something that we can know, so we're not going to speculate on Anyway, who cares? Okay, AJ, like I have a question for you. Who cares? Why am I being asked was my question. Now, let's take a moment and show what actually doing research does. The GDP of Denmark is approximately $404.2 billion as of 2023. Squaring that gives us 1.6 times 10 to the 23rd dollars. And if you look at the GDP deficit, it's approximately 3.31%. Squaring that gives you 11.95%. So these questions are very easy to answer with 15 or 20 seconds worth of research on the internet. Now I do applaud this viewer who was able to get onto Nathan's Discord channel. I of course am banned and I can't even make comments in his chat on YouTube because he's got me blocked there too. But if he has any questions, have him unblock me. I'm happy to participate in his little chats because I really have some very interesting questions to ask him. So. This is Bob the Science Guy. Thanks again for stopping by. See you again soon. Take care.